Hey everybody, Ken Surfs, actually, is it Ted Lasso? No, Ken Surfs here. Someone said the other day, hey, you look like Ted Lasso uh, with a mustache. Uh, Ken Surfs here, we're in the shave den and uh, happy new year. It's time for another shave. Well, it's actually six days after new year, but uh, here we are at the weekend and I am trying to catch up on some of the items that, uh, that, I have not tried yet, and I want to try them in front of you today. All right. First of all, uh, Robert from Robert's Classic Shave, and if you haven't seen his channel, check it out on YouTube, uh, contacted me, and he goes, hey, there's a guy in Croatia named Bruno, and he's selling these uh, DE 3D printed razors, and it's probably the only or one of the first razors, DE razors, to come out of Croatia, he said. Uh, don't quote me. But uh, I uh, contacted Bruno, and he actually sells his items on eBay. And I received this the other day, and this is made in Croatia. Comes with three base plates, uh, four, six, and an eight. And I've got the six in it right now. Uh, that's supposed to be a little bit milder. It comes with different length handles. And it's a very, very light razor. And I could see right away this could be a cool one to bring on a travel shave. Now, you can also use it as your daily driver. But uh, I'm going to be trying this out today. Like I said, it's got the cool stand. Usually you got to pay extra for all that stuff. And this comes in under 30 bucks, And it's on eBay. And the shipping wasn't that, that didn't take that long. So I'm going to be trying this out today. Then uh, you've, you've seen me use uh, stuff from Tatara Razors, and they actually have a new soap, Tatara Vegan Soap. It's Honor. I have my cheat sheet here, and it's actually uh, made from kokum and mango butter, so it's supposed to be really slick, and it's got the uh, aquatic fresh notes of musk and vetiver and the grounding base notes of cedar and amber. So I'm going to be using that today. I'm also using their Samog. Tatara brush. I've had this for years and it, it's rich. In fact, I just used it probably about four shaves ago. So as we're talking, let me put that in there. Uh, the soap is travel friendly. I like it when they put a little more effort into uh, these containers. The, this is aluminum, which is a really nice container. Came in the box there, of course. And it's under, it's under the uh, travel limit, so you could actually bring this on an airplane. And it smells really good. It's a nice hard soap. I'm going to just whip up the lather right here in the tin today. So I'm going to be using that. I've been getting some requests from uh, people. Hey, have you tried out? I, I, you've seen I've used Nivea Men Sensitive uh, Lotion, uh, Aftershave Lotion. And uh, they said, have you tried Deep yet? And uh, to be honest, I didn't even know it existed. But I went on uh, Amazon of all. You can get three bottles of Nivea Men uh, for like 20 bucks on Amazon. I only wanted one. I should have bought the three because, you know, I think I paid 14 for one. I'm like, I got three bottles for 20 bucks. It, it sh I should have done it. And it's a uh, vanilla and bourbon scent. It's very mild. It's not one of these that the scent's going to fill this uh, shave den up with, but uh, I can barely tell the bourbon, but very, very mild. So this is something that if you're wearing, you're not going to get noticed really, you know, because uh, the, the scent just is not that strong. And for the blade today, I could have used the Tatara blade, but uh, I'm going to use a Wilkinson Sword Gillette because I'm kind of used to these blades. And if I'm trying out a new razor, I want to see how it works. So. Like I said, a very light razor. And what I like, it does have a very long, uh, the, the, head, the head screw is very long. So it's not a short one with a lot of wobble. All right, now, that's your locking mechanism. Let's try this out. Yeah, I did go and see the movie, uh, what was it, uh, Minus One, Godzilla Minus One. It was in subtitles, and I thought, ah, I'm not going to like it. Was awesome. Excellent movie. 
excellent movie. And tonight I get to go uh, to another, I got a kitchen pass, guys. Uh, you guys who are married know what I'm talking about. Uh, you don't get to go out so often, but I'm going out with my brother. I'm going over to his pad. He's got a a killer, killer uh, man cave with just awesome pinball machines. In fact, he just ordered the new Jaws, limited edition from Stern. They were releasing a new pinball machine, Jaws. If you're bored, look on YouTube and look up uh, Jaws, Stern Pinball Jaws. What a cool machine. He's expecting to have it at the end of uh, February, early uh, March. And I'm still having a hell of a lot of fun with my James Bond pinball. All right. Okay. Got the blade in. The blade, the slot, it's locking nice in place right there. And Bruno said, don't worry about the open comb look. They said uh, it, it doesn't really affect the aggressiveness of it, but uh, we'll, we'll let you know. And I don't want to torque this too tight. I mean, I've set it tight. You have the open comb side, you have the closed comb side. So you have a choice. There is no overhang. No overhang. The handle, very grippy. It's, uh, you know, like sharp knurling there, so you can hang on to it very well. All right. Let's see. I think I've got everything ready. Let's start the shave, shall we? Oh. I got a lot of cool, uh, cool emails for Christmas and for, uh, Happy New Year from a lot of you viewers. I really appreciate it. And believe it or not, there are some girls that watch this channel. Very, very few. But Lisa in the UK, she's always watching. She's always commenting. I wanted to give a shout out to her and her, her, her husband. I think his name's Monty, too. So, uh, I, you know, my favorite, you know, four-legged son there, Monty, uh, <laughs> the dog. Uh, he's, been, he's been with me for forever. And anyway, thank you, Lisa, for watching. I do appreciate it. Thank you, Monty. All right. Here we go. And a very subtle scent too. Not too, not too overpowering. Wow. Lathers up very quickly. Very quickly. Seems nice and slick. All right, let's try this out. I'll try the uh, open comb first. Oh, nice. Man, very nice. I'll try the closed comb side. Very smooth too. Everybody has their preferences. I'm more of a fan of the clothes comb, but I don't have very thick, you know, wiry beard. You know, my, my beard is very patchy and very thin. My uh, nephew got a hold of a 3D printer and I don't know the qual. I mean, I don't know much about 3D printers. I know the, the price range you can get astronomical, uh, but he's had one and man, he's been making like the Death Star and uh, what is it? The lightsaber hilts and stuff for my brother's Star Wars pinball machine. So it's been, uh, I guess you can do a lot of cool things with these 3D printers, but I'm telling you this one, 
It's working very well. I'm going to switch back to the open comb side. Now the open comb side does take more hair off. I can tell right away it's a tad more aggressive. And with this middle plate, nice. And again, this is the first time I'm using this because, you know, some of these companies say, hey, can you practice a bit? Can you try it out several times before you do it? And, you know, then I don't get, you know, the, you know, the honest effect of what if I would have, you know, if it would just cut me up in the first time and I wouldn't have had that on film. I figure, you know, let's, let's try it for the first time on camera. Very nice soap. I must have had this brush five years already. Yeah, there's like no whiskers left. Second pass is probably mute. Now I've got soap on my fingers, but I'm still able to hold this very well. And there are reasonably priced razors out there, but you don't often get three base plates at that reasonable price. You usually get, you know, one, one item and that's it. So at least you have some choices with this. Where's your trash man? It is weird seeing, looking in this mirror and talking to you guys with a mustache. I, uh, I'm used to being clean shaven or I'm used to being goateed. And I don't know how long I'll keep this. My wife does not like it, so. Uh, <laughs> but a lot of the viewers like it, so, you know, what can I say? Very good. Now, again, it could be because I'm using a very nice soap, a blade I'm used to. And I know there's some kind of guarantee on this. Uh, I've got all the links to these items in the uh, description of this video. I know that I, I read that there's a guarantee on the uh, razor that uh, it'll send you a replacement if something gets damaged. And it just says, basically, keep it out of boiling hot water, which I understand. You know, you don't want to... I don't think you want to put any razor in boiling hot water, but you know, all right. Yeah, super mild, super mild. No burn. No burn at all. Very soothing. Very interesting. This is definitely a like barbershop, uh, you know, equal with Brute or, you know, uh, Skin Bracer. It, it's right on line with that, but it did not burn. And it did very smooth. So that blade, that soap, and that razor gave me a good shave, a good combo. And uh, before I go out tonight, hell, I'll probably throw on some... Uh, aftershave that I can, that I can smell, you know, but, uh, until then, not bad, but I really don't smell it hardly at all, you know. All right, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. Bruno, uh, good job with the razor, sir. Very good job. Robert, thank you for letting me know. And folks at Tatara, you, man, you're really opening up your selection now. You got razors, you got brushes, you got blades. I mean, uh, you got soaps. Very cool. Very cool. All right, everybody. See you real soon, and the next video might be coming to you uh, from Louisiana. We'll see. All right, I'm going out there for a funeral. I might do a shave when I'm out there. I don't know how long I'm going to stay. But uh, all right, thank you very much for watching. I look forward to seeing you all very, very soon. And I have noticed that a lot of people are commenting. I've got the uh, 10, uh, 1080 DPI, what is it, dots per inch or 1080 whatever, on this phone now for some reason when it upgraded. 
this last big upgrade on the iPhone, it set it back down, dumbed it back down to like 720 or even less. So now I've got it 1080. I could go to 4K, but then I hear a lot of you said before, hey, I can't view it on 4K. So here we go, 1080. All right. We'll see you soon. Stay safe. Thanks for watching.